From WFRV TV Local 5, Green Bay, Fox Cities, and the Lakeshore, this is Newsmaker Sunday. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zalaski. Uh, this morning, we take a look at a disturbing trend in domestic violence in Brown County. The number of cases in the county higher than average, but through the help of the Green Bay Police Department and the Golden House Shelter, a campaign known as Be Safe was launched in October. And here this morning to talk about the Be Safe campaign, Green Bay Police Chief Chris Davis and Marissa Heim from Golden House. Thanks both of you for joining us this morning. Much appreciated. Before we get into the uh, facts and figures and statistics of Brown County's domestic violence issue. Um, the Be Safe program, Marissa, who, who was behind it? Whose idea was it? Yeah, so the Be Safe campaign was an idea of a community member um, here in the Brown County area that wanted to really raise awareness of the resources that we have available. Um, so with some strategic planning, we were able to partner with O'Connor Connective, a local um, ad agency here in Green Bay, actually they're located in De Pere, um, that was able to help us make our dreams possible. So we've been able to partner with a variety of agencies um, to really promote our resources. So what's specifically the aim, the goal of the Be Safe program? Yeah, the main overall goal is to make sure that people know who to reach out to, that there is a safe um, resource in our area and that we're here, we're here to support no matter the time of day um, or any issue that they may have. Chief Davis, uh, Green Bay Police Department's role in this new program. Well, obviously, our officers come into contact with domestic violence survivors all the time yeah. as a consequence of their work, more often than one a day. And so it's, it, you know, there is only so much service that we can provide from a police perspective, and it really helps the experience of that person experiencing domestic violence to have some resources, some more social service oriented resources that we can connect them with instead of just, you know, the police come, maybe they make an arrest and then leave. You, you still leave that survivor and maybe a family in that situation as opposed to having somebody that we can hand them off to who can help them get longer term help. The overall role of Golden House in the program, what are they doing? Yeah, so Golden House in general is a comprehensive service um, that we offer shelter, outreach services, I mean, an overall general support for any victim that's experiencing domestic violence. So are any other organizations involved besides Golden House and the police department? Yes, there's yeah. actually quite a few. There are. Yeah. Who do you have with you? Um, so just to name a few, um, we have Bell & Health, Prevea. Um, we also have the mayor's office and Brown County, Troy Schreckenbach's office. Um, we have one, um, one university, St. Norbert College. We have smaller um, organizations that are local companies all the way to larger organizations and a variety of different areas too. So we're looking at healthcare, education, private sector, um, and then of course law enforcement too. So we have Green Bay PD, but we also have different law enforcement agencies across Brown County. Um, so we're, we continually keep expanding that as yeah. well. We're not limited on who can join in this and help share our message. So there's a victim right there out in TV land watching this right now and mm -hmm. they're either a victim of abuse or they know a victim of abuse. Mm -hmm. How do they get in contact with you or the chief to take part in this program, to get the benefits of this program? Yeah, all they have to do is simply just give us a call. Um, our phone number is 920-212-SAFE um, or they can reach out on our website. Um, so they can go right to 920-212-SAFE.com um, or, of course, any of our other um, avenues to reach out to us. But the easiest way is to just give us a call. Now, if someone is in immediate danger, I would then defer to call 911 immediately. Mm -hmm. And I see you uh, not only have the information, you know, here and on your website, but isn't it like on, on police cars? Do you have it on... Uh, what did I see? Billboards or buses mm -hmm. or something? You've got it all over the place. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I'll defer to the Chief to talk about his um, police magnet if he wants to touch on, touch on that. Sure, so we've put this magnet on all of our marked squad cars in the police department and some of the other local area police agencies have, have gotten these as well. Uh, and it's just another place for people to see that number and, and, you know, maybe somebody sees this on one of our cars going by and is able to use this number to get some help. And fairly simple to remember, too. Yes, very which, which easy. Which is awfully important in that. Uh, the Be Safe program. We are continuing with a conversation right after this, so please stay with us.